Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, basically here in preparation to tuning my Golf R with EQT um, using Cobb Access Port. Basically, here are the four items that I actually wanted to discuss in this video. One, uh, I'll do some unboxing of our Cobb Access Port uh, product here. And at the same time, I'll show you guys how we can register our Cobb Access Port through Cobb and then install the app manager that uh, is needed for the Cobb Access Port for you to be able to uh, offload and upload um, your uh, tunes on the app itself, Access Port itself. And then uh, we'll be installing that and showing you guys how to install the Access Port Manager and then do the further research needed um, based out of EQT website to be able to, you know, do more info uh, session on what's needed uh, overall. And I'm going to go more in depth on that in the process. Anyways, guys, first of all, I wanted to show you guys what's in the Cove Access Board uh, box here from EQT. So first and foremost, just to open up the box here and show you guys what's in here. We pretty much have our nice case for the access port itself. Nicely protected. I've already opened this product before. So basically here, I'm just showing you guys what we have. We got our AP itself and uh, we have the um, USB-C connection here that we need. We have few uh, items in here like um, stickers and also the additional manual and also the faceplate that uh, you can use to replace the, the faceplate here from black to the silver that we have here. So that's pretty much what we have there. We have some licensing for the uh, Cobb specific tunes as well. Uh, all the information is in there inside. And uh, Besides from this itself, we have our info from EQT regarding our tunes and how we are going to need to get information on our DCU uh, numbers box wise and everything and to be able to get the, uh, the DSG uh, tunes. And uh, I'm going to go into more details on how you can get uh, information on your how you get your TCU info to be able to get your DSG EQT DSG tune in the process um, also join the website uh, or the uh, Facebook group on EQT to be able to get more support we get the, our stickers from EQT we get two of them here More info on how we register our access port in the whole nine yards. Some more pamphlets from EQT. And lastly, our cable for the uh, access port uh, for the car. Let's see if I can open it here for you. Ah, there we go. So, there's the cable and our little mounts sticker wise if you wanted to mount this uh, on the dash itself so we will not need this until we actually are in the process of flashing the car later on so moving on Set this aside. We're going to need this later on. So the second step, guys, as you guys seen, um, the product itself, go to the Cobb website, which is this URL right here. This is a site URL. And uh, basically here, guys, you can then choose your car, your make and model, Volkswagen, and then, of course, Golf R. 
Um, it's the facelift Mark 7.5. And um, here is a discrepancy that I saw in the process where um, they only quantify the facelift as 2019, um, which is not true. My car is 2018 and it's a Mark 7.5. So they don't have that. I actually sent an info to Cobb about this and they are going to update this site. You provide your name, uh, last name, an email address, and uh, basically your state or your country over here and uh, send it away, submit. I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna show you all my information in the process here, guys, but that's you get the gist. In the second tab here, is where you can download the access port. This is the URL for it, and I'm gonna be posting it as well, a bigger version of the URL uh, in the video here, so you guys can see that. And once you get into this download location, you can then choose which OS you're working with. I am a Windows uh, operating system, so it will download that automatically for you into your download uh, folder on your PC. So if you open the app and you can then install the app uh, right, right there, right then by saying yes. I'm not gonna install it because I've already installed the app. Uh, I've already have it installed on my PC. So simple enough, I've already played around with this and get familiar with the um, access port uh, manager and uh, I'll show you later and actually um, connect my cub access port in the process and I'll show you that in a, in a minute. Uh, lastly, we need to get into the mode of research here because tuning your car is fairly uh, excessive and that you don't wanna be doing this willy-nilly because you might uh, break your ECU in the process. The EQT site is so helpful in this case because they have a lot of information about tuning in general and uh, tuning specific questions. Go through all this. Uh, one of the items that I really like here is the last one, uh, ideal upgrade for stage one and stage two. And this one will clearly tell you guys what you need for stage one and for stage two. Uh, as you can see here, it's talking about stage one, having an intake, turbo inlet, intercooler, possibly optional in this case, but it's it won't hurt. Uh, and uh, step one, colder spark plug as well, and a DSG tune as required. So I would probably recommend DSG tune right away doesn't matter if you're stage one or stage two, I would say the sooner you can up your DSG software, the more longevity of your DSG or your transmission will be because you are pretty much upping your stage, your, your tune on your ECU, and it's going to definitely improve your power. So you might want to update your TCU tune along with your ECU tune in the process. And for stage two, of course, you have an intake, uh, you require an intake, a turbo inlet as well, intercooler is probably a must here in this case, and as well as your uh, step one colder spark plug as well and is needed, including your DSG tune. In addition, you can again do a high flow downpipe. In this case, intercooler is a must and a DSG tune is a must in this process. Just uh, run by you on that. There's a few more info here, guys, that you might want to look into. There's f tons of information here regarding tuning um, and the type of spark plug you have, uh, you, you need to buy in the whole nine yards, the type of gaps you would need type deal. They're all in this information here. On the general as well, give that a look. I also want to emphasize the um, access port FAQ because this would give you information, tons of information regarding how to marry your access port to your car, um, how to obtain uh, you know, your serial number in all nine yards. It, there's tons of information here, guys. So I'm gonna go through each one of this, making sure that before I flash my system, I know 
and I'm informed on how to do so because there are informations about um, you know what you need to do in the car to prevent your car from getting bricked in the process of doing the the tunes including you know making sure your battery tender is on and your um, key key fob is actually inside the car and, and now it will never leave the car while you're doing the the flush that is and also making sure that none of your bluetooth uh, devices are not connected or will be connecting during the flush because that would also cause an issue during your your flashing so anyways guys those are the information you probably need to go through and it's very important that you guys you know adhere to a lot of this information and the EQT have provided pretty much everything you need in the process here guys so anyways guys that's pretty much it uh, I just wanted to show you guys how I actually connect the app or the AP here uh, for the first time which I've done already a couple times and I'll show you how you can upload and uh, back up your files basically your tunes your EC tunes and your TCU tunes connect to your uh, USB-C cord and then you can pretty much just open the app here and then connect to your AP access port and it will power on in this case and it automatically connects right off the bat and as you guys can see I have my DSG tune my uh, stage one tune and it's stage two tune um, 93 octane uh, each of the tune are 93 octane uh, and uh, yeah to back up your, your tunes just make sure you do a backup using this um, save button here and I've already saved my tune um, into my um, local drive that is and at the same time you can also upload um, any tunes that you have like for example I have received the uh, DSG tune just recently and uh, I have uh, uploaded it and um, it's already up there so it's ready to be flushed um, by the way I want to point out that uh, I know um, one of the instructions from EQT is to install the Cobb DSG tune that came with the AP uh, to be able to get the TCU box number. Uh, you don't really need to do that to be able to do what you need. Basically, you can um, use your OBD11 or your uh, any scan tool for that matter, VADCOM in the whole nine yards to get into your TCU control center and be able to actually see the actual information you need to be able to pass along to uh, EQT sales team to be able to send you the proper file that you need. You need to send them the your transmission ID box number, which is can be accessed using a OBD11 or VADCOM. Anyways, guys, that's how easy it is pretty much here, guys. And these are all pre-preparation so that way, you know, you don't run into any snag in doing so. Anyways, guys, stay tuned for the tuning coming up. Uh, basically, in the next Friday here, I'll be doing the uh, tuning of the, the, the uh, Golf R and I'll be doing a base dyno in the process and uh, with my JB4 um, map 6 or map 4 I um, haven't really decided yet on which map I'm going to be uh, basing my my, um, my dyno on after the baseline dyno we will be dismantling the, the JB4 and then we'll be flashing the car for stage 1 so with the DSG tune and uh, we'll do the final stage one dyno and do the comparison that way and see you know between stage one and uh, map six uh, jb4 that is so that's going to be uh, coming up here guys in the next week and 
please stay tuned in this case.